pregnancy is the most beautiful phase in women's life. Which kind of problems generally females facing during pregnancy and what we should avoid during pregnancy and what kind of yoga asanas completely safe in pregnancy. So first let's talk about that which kind of problems generally females facing during pregnancy. So back ache and we start feeling, we start gaining weight, stressed, mood swings, swelling around the legs or the many other body parts start feeling nausea or vomiting and many more. And let's talk about that what we should avoid during pregnancy. Avoid heavy intense workout. Avoid jumping, skipping or hopping during pregnancy. And many more as avoid deep forward fold or deep backward bending or deep twisting. Most important, don't do inversions during pregnancy. It may cause a lot of problems for you. Be on safe side. So let's get started. Simply cross your legs and sit in Sukhasan. Make yourself seated comfortable. And if you are not feeling comfortable with a baby bump, then you can use the pillow under your hips just for the comfort. So use pillow, blanket, block, you can use anything, fix it under your hips. Make your glute uh, seated on the mat, otherwise uh, pillow or you can use block as well. Simply cross your legs, sit comfortably and that should be equal weight on your both hips. Now release your knees and try to provide the proper space to your belly and let your belly breathe. Now use your both hands and fix your both hands on your knees. Stay here, no need to move your fingers or thumb, let it relax, normal and spine should be straight and upright. Stay here in Sukhasan. Sukhasan is really very good in pregnancy because it makes us feel energetic and it, if someone has lower back ache, this posture will help us to decrease the pain from lower back. Stay here, hold according to your capacity or you can do with a variation as well. Hold for 10 to 15 seconds in Sukhasan and make your mind sink with your body. Try to do the deep breathing if possible for you. Inhale completely and exhale your breath out. Gently open your eyes, allow your mind and body to get ready for the practice and in pregnancy we feel the little unease around the belly. So let's start with the super stretching, sweet super stretching of entire upper body including your back and front belly. So simply fix your hands by the side of your hips, fingers should be open and make a cup with your both hands. Spine rotate your shoulders up and back. Do not curve your spine too much, it should be neutral and normal. Inhale, bring your arms up front facing and try to give the proper stretching to the belly, chest, arms, little backward bend, not too much, very li little and soft. Stay here, try to arch your back a very little bit, hold, exhale, release your hands by the side. Try to sink your breath body movement with your body. Inhale, bring your arms up, stretch in Sukhasan and try to give the very sweet light stretching to your back, belly, chest and arms. Exhale and down, release your hands. Inhale, bring your arms gently, no need to make a rush. Keep it slow or a shanta. Inhale back, 
Exhale, release your hands by the side. Let's do two more times. Try to do with the breathing. Inhale and arms up and back. Stretch all the way up and try to stretch your entire lower, lower central and the upper chest as well. It will help you to release the pain from the back and keep the very nice and sweet stretching to the entire belly. Let's do last and final time. Inhale, stretch all the way back. Bring your eyeballs to the one point. No need to drop your neck too much back. Just according to your flexibility, exhale and release your hands. Now fix your both hands on your knees. Feel your hands and feel the which kind of stretching you are feeling just after Sukhasan stretching. Feel your belly, your chest and your entire arms. Smile on your face. Relax your mind in pregnancy. Most of the time we get mood swings. We start feeling anger or we suffer from many stress problems, same as stress, tension, and depression. Some of women suffering from depression as well during pregnancy. So all these asanas will help you to promote the healthy mind and decrease the stress level in female body during pregnancy. Now let's do the second stretching. Make yourself seated comfortable. Hands should be here. Make a cup with your both hands and arms little far from your body. Never do inversions. Inhale, bring your arms up, stretch your body all the way up. And try to give a nice and deep stretching to your side belly, your front belly, your pelvis, and the entire front and the back body. Stay here, hold, exhale, release your hands by the side. Do this 10 times, but keep it slow, slow. And that's it. Inhale, bring your arms up with inhalation, stretch all the way up. Exhale, release your hands by the side. Release your shoulders as well. Sit it comfortable. Don't hunch your back and do not compress your lower belly during pregnancy because a, it may create a little unease to the baby. So try to make your lower and the upper belly, uh, try to provide the proper space to your belly during pregnancy. So try to keep your spine straight as much as you can. If it's getting hard, then you can use the props, you can use pillow or many other things as blanket. Let's do it 10 times. Inhale, bring your arms up, stretch all the way up. Exhale and down. Sukhasan mountain pose. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale and down. Let's do the stretching in easy pose. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, release your hands by the side. This mountain Sukhasan stretching will help you to feel more energetic and powered. At the same time, it decreases the stress level in body. Inhale and exhale. Last final six breaths more. Inhale, stretch all the way up. Exhale, release your hands by the side. Do not shift your body weight to the single side. Be here at the center all time. Last final four more times. Inhale up. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale, stretch up. Try to feel the proper stretching around your belly. Exhale, release your hand. Last final two breaths more. Inhale up and try to connect with your baby. Exhale, release your hand. Try to make your baby in ease. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale and release. Try to send the good blood circulation around the baby and get the good oxygen supply around the baby so that baby can grow healthy, healthily. So let's do the other stretching. Uh, all these asanas promote the healthy side of mental and the physical well-being. So let's move ahead to the second asana or the other asana. Next is the Badakun asana. If you are not feeling comfortable with using pillow, blanket or bolster under the hips, then you can release. That's fine. If you're feeling comfortable with the mat, use mat. No problem. Now, let's come to the Baddhakon Asana. Baddhakon Asana is one of the asana which will really help you to promote the healthy blood circulation around baby. 
which makes our baby healthy and blessed. Okay, so during pregnancy, most of the females feeling unease around the belly and pelvis and especially lower belly. So this Baddhakon Asan will help us to release the entire lower belly, pelvis and back as well. Okay, so how to do the Baddhakon Asan? Simply touch your soles with each other, join them with each other. Do not make your feet too much close to your body or don't make them too much far. It should be at center. If your heels hitting your baby bum, then little slightly press your knee or sorry, your heels a little bit far from your body. Make your knees pressing down. Don't stretch them too much down. Let them go down naturally. Now use your both hands. Grab your ankles, spine up, stay here, make your breath, mind and body in sync in Baddhakonasana. This asana is a really very good asana and make and reduce the cramps in belly. At same time, it reduces the pain or liver pain. Stay here for 10 to 15 seconds or according to your capacity. If you are not feeling fine, then you can use anything under the hips as pillow or block. Sit it like that. Simple 10 breaths. Keep, let your knees go down. Let your pelvis open. Stay here. Keep breathing. And a shanta. Gently open your eyes. Let's move ahead now. Okay, next we are going to do the uh, Vajrasana. How Vajrasana helps in pregnancy? In pregnancy, most of the females feeling indigestion or they start gaining weight. So Vajrasana will help us to promote the blood supply around the belly which increase the metabolic rate. At same time, help us to strengthen the entire belly muscles. So let's do the Vajrasan and simply fold your legs from the back. I will tell you the two variation. If you, your body is getting overweighted or if you are not feeling easy in Vajrasan, then you can do with a pillow support or with a, any supported thing you can use below, pillow as well. So first, let me tell you the simple variation. Your knees, your heels pointing outside. Let me show you from back side. Your heels pointing outside and your left toe should be over the right one. Fix your hips between your heels. Never sit on your heels. Sit it like that. Fix your both hands on your thighs. I told you how to sit from the back. Let me show you from front side. Heels out. Fix your hips between your heels. Sit it comfortable. And fix your both hands on your thighs, otherwise on your baby. Spine upright, smile on your face and sit 10 to 15 seconds. If you are feeling any kind of unease to the ankles, then you can use pillow or any support from the back. So simply fix the pillow between your, just close to your calf muscle and sit like that. Hands on your thighs, otherwise on your baby. Elbows quite outside. Try to sit here at least for 10 to 15 seconds in supported Vajrasana. Thunder bold pose. This asana will help us to promote the blood circulation to the entire belly and close to the baby as well. At same time, Vajrasana is really very good to improve the digestion. So, be here, hand should be here, love your baby, spine upright, keep breathing and take deep 10 breaths. Try to connect with your baby. Send all the blessings and happiness, all positive vibes to your baby.
Be aware about your body posture. Gently open your eyes, release support from back. Let's do the other asana. We are going to do the Supta Baddha and how Supta Baddha helps in pregnancy and how it reduces the problems which generally females facing in pregnancy. So, lying Baddha Kona give a very, very nice deep stretching around the pelvis and to the inner thighs, which promote the blood circulation to the lower organs of the body. So, simply take a left turn. Lie down on your mat, spine line position. One more thing, never do inversions and belly lying asanas. Always avoid a belly lying asanas. It may cause problems. So simply lie down on your mat, take support, lie down. Make your spine, your back comfortable on the mat. Now bend your both leg knees, feet together. Fix your both hands, open your fingers and give the positive vibes and energy to the baby and fix your both hands on your belly, elbows resting on the mat, make your lying comfortable. Now exhale, release your knees, drop your knees down by the side. Stay here, hand should be here on your baby or on your belly. Let your legs go relax, let them go down. May you feeling little deep stretching in your inner thighs, pelvis and lower belly. This asana is really very helpful to release the pain from back, improve the digestion and improve the blood circulation to the lower organs of the body in pregnancy. It decreases the labor pain. Stay here for 10 breaths. If you are not feeling fine or comfortable, then you can use the block or pillow just under the hips or sorry, under the thighs. Relax here, comfortable. Try to press your spine down, try to press your entire back on the mat, if possible for you. If it's getting fine, then it's fine. No issues, no problem. Smile on your face, feel your baby, keep breathing. Hold the posture for 10 deep breaths. Naturally, let you go down, let your knees go down. Open your eyes, knees together. Now, let's move ahead now, make a comfortable gap between your legs. Next, we are going to do the happy baby pose. So, how to do the happy baby pose as name shows that happy baby let's make the happy let's make the baby happy with this happy baby pose how to do this so now we are going to give the proper deep stretching to the a sweet stretching to the entire hips and to the legs and a little stretching to the back as well if someone has lower back ache during pregnancy this asan will really help you to get right from lower back ache and the body stiffness so Lift your left leg up. Let me tell you one more thing. Never do it like that or never press your belly too much with any asana. Always avoid pressing your belly or your baby. So wide your legs, wide your knees. Lift your left leg up. Use your left hand. Grab your left toe with first two fingers and make a hook with your left hand. Grab it well. Now use your opposite hand. Try to grab the other feet and try to align your knee and heel in line. Keep pressing your knees down and wide your legs. Try to provide the proper space to your belly or to your baby. Never press your baby. Knees should be outside. It should be pointing outside and provide the proper space to your belly. Press your knees down and feel the proper stretching to the lower organs of the body, your legs and your glutes. Stay here, hold the posture for 10 breaths. If it's getting hard to grab the feet or toes, then simply you can use or grab the 
uh, knees and try to press your knees outside like that. This is a variation of happy baby pose. This is called a Bala Anandasan. Keep pressing your knees outside, stay here, improve and get the nice stretch into the lower organs of the body and promote the good blood, oxygenated blood around the baby. Now, gently release your legs on the mat, relax your pelvis, relax your mind. Let's move ahead now. Next, we are going to do the other asana and this, the Supt Baddhukona asana with variation will really help you to promote the healthy or we can say that it decreases the stress level in female body. So, how to do this asana? Its asana is quite easy. So, simply wide your legs and make a comfortable gap between your legs. Use your both hands and lift the single leg up. Press, lift the left leg up and keep pressing your left leg a maximum close to your belly but by the side. Not from the front side but yes from the side like that. Other legs should be here comfortably. Keep pressing this knee outside and try to give the proper stretching to your hip and the left leg. Other hand, you can place on the belly. Gently release your leg. Let's do with the other side. Never press from front side. Knee tilting outside. Press it with the free side. Outer side. Press it down. And release your leg. Once more, press your knee down, try to feel the stretching, feel light. All these asanas will help us to decrease the stress level, tension and decrease the mood swings as well. All these asanas promote the healthy life or healthy well-being. Release last and final time with the other side, press your knee down by the side. Exhale and release your legs. Let's come to the last and final posture and this posture will really help you to give, make the body flexible at the same time. This asana will give you the very sweet stretching to the belly, chest at the same time. If someone has lower back ache during pregnancy or you're feeling stiffness towards the upper body, then this asana is for you. So, simply straight your legs and make a comfortable gap between your legs. In general, we do with the feet together, but just for the baby ease, wide your legs a little bit and press your spine down. Now, what you need to do, you need to fix your both hands under the hips. Now, take support through your elbows, legs should be widened. Make comfortable with your legs. Now gently lift your chest up and try to arch your upper body and please do according to your strength or a body flexibility. You can use even pillow. I will tell you the variation how we can do with a pillow. Take elbow support, lift your neck up, stay here and hold in fish pose or matsyasan. Try to feel the proper stretching to the belly and chest. Hold. Gently release your neck and back. Release your hands from the back. Let me tell you the final variation. If you have pillow or anything, then you can fix this just under your back. You can use even two pillows. Simply lie down. Now, open your hands by the side and try to fix your head on the mat. Stay here, lose your shoulders and start feeling proper stretching to the belly, your upper rib, your chest and try to open your heart. Give the nice blood supply to the lungs and heart as well. Stay here. Feel proper stretching to the front body. Try to relax your mind. This asana will help us to balance the hormones of the body. Now, gently take left turn. Take support and sit. 
physical workout has been done let's come to the mental one how uh, in pregnancy most of the time we feel hot flushes that means we start feeling unease during pregnancy or uh, our sleep pattern got disturbed so this anulom vilom pranayam will really help you to promote the sleep or make the sleep better it help us to secrete the melatonin hormone which promote the sleep in female body during pregnancy so simply cross your legs sit in sukhasan you can use pillow just under the hips for your body ease now your both hands in jnana mudra touch your index finger and thumb with each other sit it comfortable spine upright your body upright relax your shoulders now use your right hand now use your first two fingers to fix it at the bindi point or to the ajya chakra your index finger and the middle finger use your thumb to block your right nostril and rest ring finger and the pinky finger to close your left nostril always start anulom vilom with the left nostril and also over with the left nostril try to do the 10 rounds of anulom vilom with a shanta mind make yourself connected to your breath during anulom vilom pranayam block fix your thumb to your right nostril first two fingers here and the rest two fingers to block your left nostril inhale through your left nostril and at least take 2 to 3 second while you inhaling your breath inside no need to hold your breath block your left exhale through your right now inhale through your right block your right exhale through your left this is called a one chakra let's do the nine more chakras inhale through your left block your left exhale with right inhale with right exhale with left Gently open your eyes. On this note, my name is Poli Parihar, and you are learning with Siddhi Yoga. Don't forget to share your experience with us. Thank you so much.